What is up, my fearless networking friend, Todd Falcone here. Welcome back to another episode. Let's have a little chat, shall we? And we're going to talk about uh, the importance of calling in a blitz and what that is and what that will do for your organization. So this is a team building strategy to help you to facilitate greater growth. Um, I can tell you right now, as we go through the strategy, you will have people that are producing more. Uh, that are more consistent, that have greater degrees of confidence, that tend to show up more. You'll have them producing better results. You'll see more growth. Uh, you'll have a greater degree of loyalty when times get tough. And this is something that uh, I did a training on recently for a group of people. And those that implemented it have seen some pretty amazing things happen. And I would encourage you to build this into your your day-to-day -day operations within your organization in terms of working with your crew. So what, what is, what is, what is a blitz? Uh, and we could, we could, you know, I've phrased it in different ways. You can call it a blitz. You can call it a team building night. You can call it a team building day, whatever. The, the objective or the idea here is to get people on your team under the same roof. That means if I've got people that are on my, in my organization that are in reasonable driving distance of my house, meaning they can get here in whatever, 45 minutes or less and be at my pad, that you have people on a regular basis that come to you, come to your house, and you spend that time doing business building activities under the same roof. You know the phrase, right? Yo, in network marketing, you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. I don't know about you, most of my time is spent by myself, right? That's, there's, we are solo entrepreneurs. We spend a lot of time working at our, at our house with nobody else around. If you're watching me right now or listening to me, wherever you might be, what, you, chances are your whole downline <laughs> isn't sitting there with you. They're over there and over here and wherever they might be. And yeah, you might get together for training events or Zooms or things like that, but how much time, think about it, how much time do you actually spend as a group working together in building the business, right? If, 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 if we were sitting here, like if I was sitting here and, uh, you know, there's, uh, this, there's a vacant lot and this guy says, hey, uh, there's all the wood, there's the nails, there's the tools, get after it, build the house. Okay, first of all, I don't know how to build the house, so I'm going to sit there and stare at it. So that's another subject matter altogether is, is teaching people how to do what we do. But what if we had, you know, 10 people that showed up at the lot and, you know, somebody has some semblance of idea how to sling a hammer and somebody else knows how to use a saw and somebody else has built some stuff in the past and we get together and we as a team build the house. Uh, how much faster is the house going to be built? when we're working together as a team, rather than one person trying to do it themselves. We're gonna get the house done, I, don't, I mean, clearly way faster than somebody's gonna be able to do it alone. So that's kind of the concept here with doing a blitz. And what you do is this, you pick a night of the week or a weekend, Thursday night from six to 10, it's team building night, blitz nights. Imagine this, if you did this in, in your entire culture in your company, what would happen? where every Thursday night from 6 to 10 p.m., you have pods of people and anybody who's got in, individuals within, re, I got, you know, I got four people within reasonable driving distance of my house. My friend across town, he's got a few people. My friend in the next state over, they've got 10 people within reasonable driving distance. And we're all getting together same night. We're not communicating with groups necessarily, but the, in, the intention is to get us together. Let's say I've got four people in my house, 6 to 10, bring your laptops, bring your prospect list, bring your stuff. And we spend from six to 10 doing nothing but business building activities. This isn't, we're having a group discussion talking about it. You might have a quick little group discussion about setting it up, but it's not a training session. It's not sitting around yapping with one another. It's like, let's see how much we can get done in the four hours that we have available to us. And I mean, the first thing I think about is like, so I run A-Team as all of you guys I'm sure know. And I did an A-Team a while back with this group of Europeans. And 
we gave it as a challenge. And the next week I come back and I said, hey, who did, who did a blitz? And this guy raised his hand. I'm like, cool, let's talk about it. Tell me what happened. I go, how many people did you have at your house? Or when did you do it? Because we did it last night. How many people did you have at your house? Because we had five people there. I'm like, awesome. So what did you, what happened? And he said, well, we, we, we scheduled 90 presentations last night. I'm like, wow, that sounds pretty good. You scheduled 90 business presentations. He goes, yep. I go, well, uh, is that, is, I go, that sounds pretty good. Is that good? Is that more than normal? He goes, uh, yeah. I go, how many would you have done with that group? Do you think had you not done that? He goes, honestly, zero. Because that whole group was like sitting at home by themselves, twiddling their thumbs. They weren't doing anything. And the reason this works so well is because you've got this group dynamic and there's strength in numbers. And so when you got a group of people together, like if you're at my house and you're sitting there and you got your prospect list out in front of you and you're sitting there staring at your phone and you're looking at the name, but you haven't dialed, I'm like, hey, let me see your phone. I'll grab your phone, dial the person's phone number, press send and hand you the phone. You can't be at my house and not get stuff done. I'll get you past that stuck state. Now, what does it do? It creates, it creates an opportunity for me. Let's say I'm the expert. I'm, I, can, I have a chance to listen to this person. I actually just did this like a, a few days ago. Went down, <coughs> excuse me, worked with this woman. She's making phone calls. She's on speakerphone. Um, she's talking to somebody. I'm like, mute that up. Let me, let, me, let me ask the person this question. You can give coaching. Like if, you're, if, you're, if you have more experience than some of the other people around you that, that are at your, your blitz, your team building night, you can help people fix stuff. And I mean, I'm telling you right now, this is one of the most effective ways of having somebody improve their skills. Like think about it. If you're sitting here by yourself and you're doing things, you don't know what you're doing right. You don't know what you're doing wrong. You're just going through the motions. You're repeating the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, the definition of insanity. If you're making constant mistakes. But if you've got me there, I'm going to pick up on the mistakes. I'm going to be able to fix those mistakes, get you to do things a little bit differently, make some little tweaks so that you're, the next time you make a call or you do a reach out, it's going to be a different experience. And I can give you story after story after story of people I've done this with at my retreats. I run retreats where I get 10 people that fly in and I spend three solid days working with you, helping you build your network marketing business. Those individuals get more done in three days than most people do easily in a year or two years in network marketing over a three-day period of time. They also discover, oh my gosh, I had no idea that I could actually do this much. Even if it's a nightly blitz, like from 6 to 10 p.m. or a Saturday or something. I mean, obviously, I do these three-day deals where, you know, from 8 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock at night, three straight days, all we're doing is business building. Think about that. What if you did a three-day blitz and you had, you know, 10 people at your house and you spent eight hours a day for three days all day long doing Facebook reach outs, Instagram DMs, LinkedIn, phone calls, club, whatever you're doing. I mean, how could that not dramatically improve every aspect of your business? People are going to have more confidence. There's going to be a greater level of team camaraderie. We bonded. We we laughed, we cried together, we hung out together, we experienced it together. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second, about you incorporating that kind of powerful technique into your business building efforts. If I could require it and make network marketers around the world go, you, you got to do you got to do team building nights or get togethers where you're working together as a team. Because think about it, you're sitting there by yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm like, all right, I got my lead list over here. Um, I'm not really sure if I can do this. And I'm like, I'm staring at my leads over here, but then I'm like, not doing anything. And then there's nobody to kick me into gear. But if you got a group of people, they, it's, they're strength in numbers. And, and, and until you've done this, until you've executed a blitz or a team building night and incorporated this, I, look, here's the deal. If you've never done it, do it once. Do it once. Get three people over at your house. Get, I mean, even, maybe it's you and one person. Maybe it's you and two. Maybe it's you and five. It doesn't matter. But you're going to do more. They're going to do more because you're, I, okay, maybe, maybe I got a bad habit. Maybe, maybe I'm the one that's got the bad habit. And, but if I get some other people in my house, maybe now it's going to force me into action even more because I'm not going to be running this blitz and then telling everybody else to do it. I've got to be involved in it. And even when I do the blitzes, when I've got these retreats that I do, I'm the one that gets the day started. I'll literally have 10 people around me at the couch and the chairs. I start picking up the phone and demonstrating it right in front of them. And then we break out and people go find their places in the house and they start making their calls, doing reach outs. It's unbelievable the kind of change that can take place. I had my friend Tina. She's awesome. So funny. Oh my gosh, she is hilarious. And 
I'm I'm in the room working with her. She's she's so funny. Oh my gosh, like you're around her, she she makes you laugh. She's hilarious. And she gets on the phone and I I'm like, listen to her. She's like, hi, my name is Tina. And I'm like, I'm like, who the hell was that? Like, what 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 was that? Like, that's not you. And she turned into this totally different person. She was talking really fast and she sounded like a robot. And I'm like, all right, first of all, slow it down, relax, take a deep breath. Just be you, man. You, you know what? You've got the script in front of you. You've done this. Just relax. Take a deep breath. And it, you know, second one, third one, fourth one starts to relax a little bit. I think we were like, we're in the second day and she gets this prospect on the phone. I don't remember exactly. What, what did she say? She said, uh, Tina, you have to remind me. I'm sure you'll probably catch this post, but what'd she say? She's, oh, she called this guy and she called a lead, I think. And she said, well, what do you do for a living? And he was like, I'm a stay at home dad. She's like, well, how about some stay at home money? And apparently the white, and he's like, oh yeah, stay at home money. And she, the way she said it was just kind of, you know, quirky and funny. So well, what, how about some stay at home money? And he's like, yeah, I like some stay at home money. And then the wife in the background, she's like, I want some stay at home money. And then she gets on the phone and he goes, well, get her on the phone. What's your name? What's up? And I heard this whole conversation and I'm like, you know, she's just being herself. And I'm just, I'm literally, I fell to the ground. I'm like on the floor about ready to pee my pants. I'm laughing so hard, quietly laughing. So the prospect didn't hear and I'm just so proud of her because she went from being this robotic, different human being to like being herself. And then she started to attract more people. And that could only have happened in a group dynamic because if she had been by herself, she would have continued to do the same things over and over again and then not making the kind of changes that she needed to make to elicit the results. So yes, do this. If you haven't done this, you need to do this. Execute a blitz, a team building night. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I think culturally, it should be part of everything that you do. If you're on my YouTube channel, thanks for being on my YouTube channel. If you are on my podcast, what's up, podcasters? Good to see you. Or actually, I guess you can just hear me. And if you want the rest of the story, please come on over to my website, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 122. That's this episode, toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 122. Anyhow, love you guys. Appreciate you for being here. We'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. 